Hey everybody, this is Sharon Koenig of Fearless Pursuits, and welcome back to Fearless Empower To. Today I'm going to talk to you about trusting your gut. So I wrote a blog post, and that's over at fearlesspursuits.com, about trusting your gut. And the thing about it is I, I talked about how just about every single mistake I have ever made was because I didn't trust my gut. I don't know if you've ever felt that way, but, you know, I had a recent experience where an old boyfriend of mine called me up and asked me out again. And he said all the right things, and he was just so full of love and admiration that I said, okay, well, you know, maybe he's ready to um, have the kind of relationship that I want. So I went for it, but there was this voice, this small, quiet voice, and it just, it just said that, you know, it's, it's probably not going to work, you know, and, and you shouldn't do it. And, and, you know, ultimately, you know, the relationship didn't work out and nothing bad really happened. It wasn't a very big mistake. It wasn't a tragic mistake or anything. He's a really wonderful man. And, and, uh, I was very lucky to have a relationship with him, to be honest. But, um, you know, I just realized that, you know, we ended the relationship to begin with because, you know, we, we wanted different things, you know, and, and you know in your gut, you know, in different situations, if it's about your work or different relationships or making money or spending money, you know, all of those things, whether, you know, there's something a little off, you know what I mean? And, you know, so I knew it and, and so I ended the relationship. I just knew that it, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. So, you know, I, um, I kind of surprised myself when I went out with him again and um, really, you know, I had this, this feeling in my gut, you know, and, and uh, they call it your uh, solar plex, you know, and, and it's one of your chakras and that sort of thing. So, you know, it's there for a reason, you know, it's your intuition, it's there to speak to you, it's small and it's quiet. And, you know, you, we, we often just don't listen, I call it my guttometer. And, you know, we, we ultimately know these things, but we just don't listen. And why didn't I listen? And, you know, why don't I ever listen to my gut demeanor? No, the thing is, is that I do. And, you know, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. And I think that's the thing is when I was younger, I definitely didn't listen. But time and time again, especially as I've gotten older, I realize that when I have that gut feeling, I need to go with it. I am always right. Every time after the fact... I realize, holy cow, I was right. Why didn't I listen? So, you know, most of the time, I, at, at least at this point in my life, I do listen to my guttometer. Um, but that particular time, I didn't because I feel like I'm in a phase in my life where I, I'm ready to start um, welcoming um, love in my life. And, and I wanted that. I think that's bottom line is when you want something in your life, you sometimes don't listen to your gut meter you know, if it's like a business opportunity or you, you want to spend money on something and, and your gut says, don't do it, don't do it, but you want that. So we don't listen to our gut meter um, because we want something. And so we just, we think that, you know, maybe we're not desperate or anything, but we just, we throw caution to the wind and we go for it sometimes. And then after the experience is over, whether, you know, we made a mistake, uh, you know, and we've realized it was a really bad mistake or maybe just a little mistake. And we, we look back on, on the beginning of that and saying, you know, I remember I shouldn't have done that. And you start realizing it starts stacking on top of it and you start to experience that you have this gut meter inside of you and you need to start listening to it. And unfortunately, it is a little bit of maturity that goes along with it. So if you happen to be a young person listening to, listening to this, more than likely you're, you're going to have to make some mistakes before you start listening to your gut meter because I think that that's just part of life. 
I wrote another blog post. It was called the University of Mistakes. And that, I think that's the thing, you know, um, I innately um, like to take risks, I guess. You know, it, it's really funny because at the same time, I, I seek certainty and comfort. But I think it's really cool that I have this fine line where I am ready to um, try something new. I, I think that that I value variety so much in my life that I'm I'm ready to go after things, right? So that it helps me to jump. And um, the thing about it is, if I was that way when I was younger, which I I wasn't, I was more seeking security and comfort and more conservative then I wouldn't be making as many mistakes. But I wouldn't have grown as much, you know what I mean? So when you're a young person and you, you try different things, that's where you learn different things. We grow, right? And that is why I called it the University of Mistakes. And, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are. You're always going to be making mistakes. But, you know, I think the lesson here in this video is that, you know, you, you do have an inner guidance system and it will always tell you the truth. Whether or not you are really ready to listen to that intuition, your gut -a meter is a whole different story. But you'll realize as time goes on that you'll make these mistakes and you'll realize after it's all over with that you really did know it was a mistake. Something was off, right? So you know what I mean? So I hope this video was helpful for you and helping you really get in touch with your gut -a meter and knowing that it's okay to take risks and to try things. You know, you got to really ask yourself, what is the worst thing that can happen if I do this? That's kind of how I look at things. You know, if, if um, something is presented to me, I like to take a look at that and see, okay, well, what is, what is the worst thing that can happen? You know, and who will it impact if I make this uh, action, if I take this action? And, you know, I've got little ones and family, so a lot of times that's, that is really the answer for me is, will it impact my family negatively? And I won't ever do anything that would impact my family negatively. Um, certainly, I wouldn't do anything to harm myself, obviously, but um, I, I do have um, this ability to take risks. And therein lies why I'm fearless pursuits and why I'm a success strategist because um, I've tried so many different things, I've experienced so many different things, and I can tell you from that level of what, um, what you could expect, for example. So um, I hope that this was helpful for you. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe. And uh, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know your thoughts here in the comments below. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. This is Sharon Koenig with Fearless Pursuits. Bye.